If you want to improve your aim in Apex, you came to the right place. I'm going to show you a program called Aim Lab that's going to do just that. Aim Lab is a free program that's available in Steam. I'm going to include a link and how to download that in the description. Aim Lab is basically a software that allows you to hone in your aiming using analytics and machine learning. So there's, cust there's training, custom, sandbox modes to start out with. If you go to the training mode, it'll show a bunch of different tasks you can do. Um, Spider shot, micro shot, multi shot. You can work on shooting um, natural tracking enemies. You can work on uh, ammo capacity and visual memorization. They have anything you can anything you can name. They have it here. They have double jumping enemies. They have sniper training. They actually even included a little battle royale game. If you go to sandbox, you can go here and you can do a little free play against the AI. I'll talk about. I'll demo some of these um, some of these different tasks later in the video. So. One of the cool things about it is the options. You can actually import your settings from different games. So since I'm trying to train for Apex right now, I can use my settings from Apex. You can set your mouse sensitivity and your zoom sensitivity to match the sense in Apex. For some reason, it likes to go a few decimal places off of the actual um, actual whole value, but I haven't really noticed much of the difference. This really helps you uh, make sure that you're training in, in Aim Lab the way you want to train in the game that you're playing. The crosshair is really cool as well because you can change how it looks. So for example, the dot size, you can increase it, you can make it smaller. You can actually add a holographic site um, element to it if you play with holographic sites. Basically this game is gonna let you fine tune these settings to however you want. The only way you're gonna figure it out is going in to you know, play around with how you, how you want to adjust the settings. Another cool thing that's in this game is you can select different weapons. So they have nine millimeter pistols um, revolvers, all the all pistols basically from different games that will uh, help you find something that you know looks similar to the game you play. There's shotguns, pump and tack. There's ARs. The scar looks exactly like the one in Fortnite. Uh, sniper rifles. Basically, any type of training that you want to do, it's available to do in this program. So we'll go ahead and start with gray box standard, and we'll do micro shot first. Micro shot uses either uh, precision or speed or ultimate, which is a combination of both. I sped this next clip up a little bit so you could just see what an entire micro shot encounter looks like. So don't think I'm that good because I'm really not. So you start out, everything gives you like a nice little just breathe message. And then all it's doing in this precision mode is as I'm getting better at shooting quickly, it makes the orb smaller and it actually reacts real time in the game. So if you start slowing down a little bit, it makes the orbs bigger and the, um, and the speed of them you know slows down a little bit so it's cool that as you as you adapt with the game and as you grow with it it actually adapts to you and grows with you and helps really perfect all those flicks that you might not be able to hit in games right now trust me within a few days of practicing this you will definitely be able to hit those shots that you didn't think you could before At the end of every match, there's a little results score sheet at the end, and it shows your targets, the kills per second you got, the reaction time, your scores. Um, it gives you performance insights, too. It tells you if you should be improving things. Like, for example, I have an upper screen weakness in this one, so I should be playing games that use the AI training, which will help me, you know, correct the bias. So as you're playing throughout this game, it allows you to make real-time adjustments and gives you things to improve on. Your stats overall are tracked and the frequency you play per game or per day are tracked. So you can tell how much you're practicing and you can see real time how much your stats are increasing. There's a lot of different game modes you can do in this. Like the sandbox has a great variety. So it has a benchmark game where it shows it does six, three, six basic skills in a row. It's a single playlist and then it gives you a benchmark guide for how well you're doing and you can improve based off that. There's pen to kill, which has five bullets, five targets. It goes across. So you have to kill the targets. And there's this free play mode that has AI robots in it. It gives you a minute to shoot as many robots as you can. I don't think this is the greatest battle royale tool, but it's definitely something that you can use if you're trying to get better with a gun or if you're trying to have a more realistic, a real, realistic experience while you're playing. And as promised, I decided to throw in just a couple clips of a few different game modes you can do. It's sped up 300%. So as you can see, these game modes are actually very difficult. This is a multi-shot game mode, and it's very hard to keep the pattern of the circles. But as you play it more, you really do start to develop these skills that you didn't think that were, were possible.
Each game mode really gives you good feedback at the end that helps you to make sure that you're playing better and that you're actually taking advantage of the training that you're doing. I find that one thing that happens to me is when I'm playing playing games like Apex and stuff, it's hard to find a good practice curve because obviously every game is different. This game allows for some variability, but it's controlled variability and controlled variability really lets you practice different things that you wouldn't be able to practice just in the regular training mode that most games offer. Aim Lab has is currently still in its beta period, its testing period, so it's only about 30% done they say. So this this program is going to continue to get better. It's going to continue to help gamers, you know, optimize their performance. I've noticed from just the week that I've been playing that I've been hitting a lot more consistent shots, especially with the wingman. I tried to I tried to just use the HCOG Classic now in Apex just because this dot in the center of the screen is just, it's so much easier to hit people. This has just been a quick overview of Aim Lab. Feel free to check it out. I hope it helps you as much as it's helped me so far. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will be back with more. Thanks for checking it out.